Welcome to the Nexus 2 resource guide. In this video, we will be showing you the basics on how to use the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface. Before you can use the Nexus 2 and MATLAB interface, you will need to have both Nexus 2 and MATLAB installed and activated on your computer. Some of the topics we will be discussing in this video are how to set the file path, how to create the Nexus object, how to gain access to the Nexus functions from within MATLAB, how to view the command help, and the ways in which you can run a script. An excellent resource that can help you learn how to use the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface is through the Nexus 2 help, which can be found by going to help, view latest help from vicon.com, and this will open a web page where you can search for MATLAB. This will give you pages dedicated to troubleshooting, modeling, and the MATLAB commands for use with Nexus amongst others. By default, your computer needs to be online in order to use the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface, as MATLAB connects to Nexus 2 via TCP IP. If you do need to use the interface offline, the troubleshooting page will instruct you on how to install the loop back adapter. You will need to make sure that the Nexus 2 functions are added to the MATLAB file path. To do this, go to the start button and type in set MATLAB path and then run the command. You can also manually set the file path in MATLAB. To do so, go to the home tab, then select set path, select add folder, and navigate to the appropriate Nexus 2 folder. Then select the MATLAB folder and press OK. I also send this to the bottom in the unlikely event that these functions interfere with any native MATLAB functions. I'm also going to remove the Nexus 2.7 functions as Nexus 2.8 is the latest version of Nexus 2 and will have the latest functions. You may have to repeat this procedure for subsequent releases of Nexus 2. Finally, I'm going to press save and close. As per the online help, we need to create a Nexus object in MATLAB to initiate the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface. To do so, in the command window, we type in vicon equals vicon nexus. And now we can see that the object has been created in the workspace. While I did this in the command window, we will need to create the Nexus object in any MATLAB scripts that we want to execute. Now that we have the object, we can view the full list of available functions by typing in vicon.display.command.list and pressing enter. To view the help for a function, we can do this in one of two ways. We can type in help and then the function name. For example, get subject names and press enter. The second way is to type in vicon dot display command help and then in brackets the function name. We can now write a script that pulls the data from Nexus into MATLAB and subsequently write the data back into Nexus. I'm now going to show you three ways in which you can use the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface. The first is from MATLAB to Nexus. The second is within Nexus by using the MATLAB tab in the communications window. And the final way is through the MATLAB operations in the pipelines tab. I will be executing the same script in all three examples. The script will first connect to Nexus, then it will extract the subject name, it will then import the left PSI and right PSI trajectory data. It will then use that data to calculate the sacrum marker as the midpoint between those two points. And finally, the sacrum marker will be then written back to Nexus as a modeled marker. As I already have MATLAB opened and a trial loaded, I can simply execute the script in MATLAB. And in Nexus, we will see that a sacrum marker has been created between the left PSI and right PSI markers. We can also see the commands that MATLAB has executed in the MATLAB tab. Along with the command window of Nexus, this window will highlight any errors in your script. 
In this example, I have deliberately imported a marker that does not exist in the C3D. I'm now going to execute the script from the MATLAB tab in the communications window. If you're executing only a script, all you will need to do is to navigate to the appropriate folder and select the appropriate file. For the purposes of this video, I've converted this script into a function, and so I will also need to enter the script arguments. For the purposes of this video, they are the left PSI, the right PSI, and the sacrum. As you can see, I've entered these as strings and I've also separated them via commas. Now, when I press run script, Nexus 2 will open up MATLAB and the script will be executed. By pressing create pipeline, we will add a MATLAB operation to the current pipeline. By selecting this operation, we can see that the operation is calling the same script in the communications window and has the same script arguments. We could also execute this script by pressing the play button underneath the current pipeline. We also have the ability to launch MATLAB from both the communications window and the current pipeline. If we wanted to add more MATLAB operations into the current pipeline, all we need to do is to click and drag the MATLAB operation to the current pipeline, or we could double click on it. I would still need to highlight the appropriate operation and then load the appropriate script and enter the arguments if the script required arguments. By highlighting and single clicking on the operation, we can also give the operation a name in order to keep track of the scripts that we're running. We have also provided some example functions, which can be found at the file path displayed on the screen. Please be aware that future releases of Nexus 2 may have more functions included. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions related to the Nexus 2 MATLAB interface, or any other hardware or software questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at vicon.com.